it's that time again. I'm being kind of quiet because, like I said, I live really close to people and I don't want to be too loud, but I thought I would start my video off by showing you the outside of my house um, for my Christmas showcase. So here I have a flag that has a yellow lab on it and a bunny rabbit. And new this year to me is this Santa light. My mom gave him to me and he's very old. And I have a new bulb light that I got at Walmart. And then I have these string lights that I've had um, for a year now that I string all along my railing, kind of like I did for Halloween. Um, I have a green bulb light too, but I can't plug it in right now because I have to get another cord. I'm not blessed with power out here because this house is very old. So I have to get another cord to plug that in with the red light. But for right now, all I have is this red one. And then over here, I've got twinkle lights on my twig tree. I have this projector light that is a Mickey light and it projects Mickeys that are red and green on the ground. And here I have a elf um, light and I have this little um, snowman thing that my grandma gave me. And then in the window is Mickey and Minnie. They are, they could either be indoor or outdoor. I made them indoor, they're in my window. And then I have these snowflake lights and lights around my window. So as we continue through the front door. Here is my front door. It says Santa stop here and I have a banner with Mickey and Minnie on it. It says season's greetings. So, and then down here I have a new mat that I got last year. It says Merry Christmas. And this spot is blank because I am going to be putting the new Disney castle here, the Lego Disney castle. I start construction on that tomorrow. Um, and then here is the highlight of the room. This is my Christmas tree. Now, I could tell you a lot about this tree and all of the ornaments, but we don't really have that kind of time. Basically, it just has a little bit of my personality. I've got Disney ornaments. I've got um, Nightmare Before Christmas. I have some Elf on the Shelf. I have some things that look like food that I thought were cute. Um, but yeah, if you're ever interested, I might showcase a couple of these ornaments and show you um, in a different video. I have this uh, tree topper that says Santa stop here and it projects lights on it. Um, and then underneath the tree is a Disney train. Now I don't have it stabilized. The track is not stabilized, so I'm not gonna run it. Um, but it goes around and it makes sound and I have uh, Mickey lights here that I've strung inside the tree and I have these bubble lights these are my favorite they need I need a couple new bulbs because a couple of them are burned out right now but I have some that work they're red and green I have a white strand too but I went with red and green this year because it's my favorite and this tree one thing about it is I can do a combination of colored and white lights or just colored lights and just white lights now while I build my castle, I'm probably going to do white lights because it makes the room brighter. I had to put my lamps downstairs um, because I don't have room. And that's another thing is everything I'm about to show you in this video uh, is not everything that I currently own. I have limited space. So this year was a little bit different from previous years. I wasn't able to get out everything I wanted to get out, but I got out the main things that I like to get out every year. So here's another look at the tree. Here's a different angle. And then up here, I have a banner that says Christmas. I have other banners too that I used to use when I had my um, wardrobe cabinet in here, but that has been moved to the garage so I could make room for the castle. Um, so I'll just mix and match in my window, but right now I have this Christmas banner and in the corner is a Mickey street lamp that could also be indoor or outdoor. I made it indoor, obviously. Um, and it, it's just red and green inside and it's got his hat and ears. And then I keep these lights in the window year round just so the room isn't dark. On the couch, I have a big Jack Skellington blanket. And of course, I didn't get all of the blankets I own out, um, but here's a few of them. This one has Mickey in a truck with a Christmas tree in the back. The other one is candy canes. And then the other one's just a plaid one. 
And then here on the foot of the couch is uh, a Mickey blanket too as well. It's one of my favorites. And then I've got a couple of projects I'm going to work on this Christmas that I will be putting on the table that I'm going to build the castle on. But for now, they're on the couch. I'm going to make bracelets and then I'm going to build this wreath that I got out of Legos. And then I've got some pillows that say, have yourself a Merry Christmas, an elf on the shelf blanket, another Mickey pillow, and some... You'll see a lot of Disney because I'm a Disney fan. Um, the sign says the stockings were hung. I have more than just these three stockings, but I thought I would keep it simple this year. And I just put Mickey and Minnie on here and then a plain stocking that I found last year that I really like. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light on so you guys can see these items better. I have a nativity scene and a Jesus stocking in the back because personally I'm a Christian. Um, and I just thought that that was a good touch for myself. Um, and then, of course, I've got some Santa stuff. I have Santa boots and some gnomes and um, some tie beanies. And then up here on my wall, I have the lyrics to We Wish You a Merry Christmas, a little sign I found at Goodwill. And then my grandfather made this snowman um, here, and I thought he was really cute. And then this is Pickle the Dinosaur from Mariah Elizabeth, one of the YouTubers I watch. I put a little Build-A-Bear Santa hat on him for Christmas. And then these are some of my snow globes. I carry, I collect various ones, but these are the ones I get out for Christmas. This one's an Elf on the Shelf one. One back here from Connor Prairie. And that is a attraction over by where I live. Um, then a picture of my mom and myself at a banquet in 2018. And I have a diner. Now the lights and the sign are supposed to light up, but I have to get a new AC adapter for those because I tried to plug it in today and it made a really weird buzzing sound and I didn't want to cause a fire. So I thought I would throw caution into this equation and uh, put it in the trash. So I had to get I have to get a new AC adapter. And then I have a Disney Village here. This is just Tinkerbell's uh, treasures here. And then outside of it is Mickey and Minnie. Another snowman holding a snow globe. And then, of course, there's also little village things here as well. And I've got some signs on my piano. These are, again, not all the signs I own, but just a couple because I don't have very much room here. One says Forever Christmas Eve. The other one says What Happens at the Christmas Party Stays at the Christmas Party. And then I've got these gnomes and some pop figurines. I've got Groot and Star-Lord and the Grinch right there. And then along my TV stand, I have a Volkswagen Beetle with Santa driving it, and that, that lights up, and an elf hanging a stocking with Buddy the Elf and his dad, and another Star-Lord, and Pluto, which I got this year. He matches one of my purses that I have. And my blocks that say Merry Christmas, Susie from the Elf movie, and then Rocket, and then I've got these candle holders over here. Um, let me take you into the kitchen and show you a little bit of what I have here. I've hung a sign next to the door, um, and I have some doorknob ornaments as well. And then I put some towels on the back of the chairs. One of them says Joy. This one says Santa Stop Here. You can't really see it that well. I have so many things that are Christmas related, so I just grabbed out of my collection what I wanted the most this year. So this is what I have this year. I have this table runner I got on sale last year. It says Merry and Bright. This custom made Disney um, Christmas dish or Christmas cup. And then I've got these old dishes here that I really like. I have these antique coasters, an L snow globe, some Disney coasters, another uh, mug, and some various things here, some antique candles. This is my favorite. It's Santa. It's a Santa hat that looks like a cornucopia. I've got a Santa tin, a sign that says the elf made me do it, and Mr. Bones, of course, and he's got a Santa hat on him. I keep him out year-round. I don't know if that's ever going to change. And then, of course, on my stove, I have some towels that I bought last year and some that I've always had, like that Doughboy one I've always had. But these other ones are relatively new. And I have an oven mitt that I got for Christmas. Um, just things like that. Now let's go into my room and I'll show you that that's like the last portion of my Christmas. Oh, and up here I hung up a couple of little signs. 
as well. So in here is my bedroom. Now I have a Disney Christmas bedding as well, but this year I got this out because my mom got it for me last year for Christmas because it's similar to one that she has that I really like. So um, I got this out and decided to use it this year. It's kind of neat. It has um, this pattern on the front and then on the other side, it's this plaid red and green color. And then I've got plaid sheets underneath as well. And then a bunch of stuffed animals. Because I'm a stuffed animal uh, person, I guess. Um, and then, of course, uh, on a side note that isn't Christmas related, here is a, another Lego set that I built. And it is the 100th anniversary um, Lego set for Disney. And it came with... Um, a little projector thing that you can look through that looks three-dimensional even though it's not and you get Walt Disney and you get Mickey and Minnie and you get Bambi and Dumbo and then of course the camera with a little film strip that has all of the different Disney characters made out of Legos and I think that's really neat um anyway that's about all I have oh I forgot to show you guys the bathroom here's the bathroom so I have a, a rug that says, Dear Santa, I can explain in a snowflake plaid shower curtain. I have a plain plaid one that I will use later on in the winter when Christmas is over. And I did a pattern on the shower hooks. I did a tree and a snowflake. I'll probably do all trees when Christmas is over because it's still kind of wintry. And then here's my soap dispenser with Santa. Um, but anyway, that is about all I do for Christmas. Um, like I said, I had to really downsize this year, so I wasn't too happy about that, but I got as far as I could and got as much as I wanted out that I could, and when I move, I'm definitely going to have everything out. I'm just kind of outgrowing the place that I live in right now, and with the housing market, who knows when I will be able to move. And also, one more thing, here is a Santa rug that my grandma gave me that I get out every year as well. And I think it's really neat. And it's easy to vacuum too, which I really appreciate as well, because certain surfaces are not very easy for a vacuum to move through and the vacuum pretty much sweeps this pretty easily. So I was relatively pleased with that. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing and liking. Um, coming up will be a video of a review of the Disney Lego castle. I did get a light kit with it. It's coming up. I start construction tomorrow. I'm going to put a table out here in the living room um, to build. I didn't want to put one out until I filmed this first. So um, stay tuned for that. And um, also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but on top of the diner is Clark Griswold. I just thought he makes a better ornament on top of the diner than he does on my tree. It almost looks like he's trying to light it and he electrocutes himself. So that makes perfect sense. Anyway... I hope everybody has a good holiday. Stay tuned and I will upload another video as soon as I have one. Until then, I hope you enjoyed my showcase and feel free to leave a comment and like and subscribe and I will see you all very soon with another video.